What's up everybody, Josh Charmijo here, I hope everybody's doing good and want stuff. I got an album review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Archgoat, entitled The Luciferian Crown. This is released on Deborah Bermorty Productions. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of Turku, Finland, and the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional, perverse, blasphemous hybrid of both black metal and death metal. Uh, yeah. Without a doubt, Archgoat are one of the flag bearers of Finnish extreme metal. Absolutely legendary, synonymous band within that style of music. Very, very much recognizable and, and accomplished. Everything that this band has done has absolutely made a difference and made an impact with their style of music. It is just so wonderful to see how Archgoat has come along over the years. And anytime they put out something new, whether it be a full length, an EP, a song, anything, a live show, a tour, it feels like an event. It feels like something crazy is going to happen. And that's the feeling Archgoat in, embodies within the music listener and within extreme metal. Archgoat are just so fucking awesome. This band has per delivered nothing but classics throughout the majority of their career, from their EPs like Angel Cunt, uh, the Heavenly Volva, Christ Last Rites, to their very, very wonderful full-length material like uh, Whore of Bethlehem, The Light Devouring Darkness, and of course the last time we had heard a full-length from them back in 2015 with The Apocalyptic Triumphator. That album was still phenomenal to listen to, and I think all these year, these these past couple of years later, that album still holds up perfectly well. Um, ever since that album, this band has stayed very, very busy and active in the form of playing live shows. Of course, I had the honor and privilege of getting to see them live in Ohio for Hell's Head Bash Part 2. Greatest experience of my life, greatest weekend of my life. Getting to see them for the last day of that show was absolutely special. But then, of course, they've also done two different sorts of tours, two different blocks of North American tours. I got to see them back to back nights in Austin and San Antonio with Valkyria and Hellfire Death Cult. That was a great experience. They are always the real deal live. Um, but ever since the Apocalyptic Triumphator, as far as putting out music is concerned, this band has stayed active in making things happen. They, of course, put out that awesome split with Satanic Warmaster, uh, Lux Satine, and then last year, they put out an EP entitled Eternal Damnation of Christ, pretty much showcasing that there's still big things going on within the Archgoat camp as far as putting out music is concerned. It was only two tracks long, but it still had that classic Archgoat essence. Everything about that EP was sensational. Now, we fast forward to 2018 in the form of the fourth full-length album from Archgoat entitled The Luciferian Crown. When I found out that there was going to be a new Archgoat album this year, like I mentioned before, I was so excited. I was so ready for them to put out some brand new music. Of course, they put out, a, I think one of the first songs they put out was Messiah of Pigs. That was a very short, sweet, to the point song. It, it sounded like an Archgoat track. It felt like an Archgoat track, and it only anticipated me for to see what was going to happen next. And now, yeah, here we are. The Luciferian Crown, fourth full length from March Goat. It's 10 tracks and it clocks in at around 35 minutes in length. And pretty much this picks up right where the Apocalyptic Triumphator left off. This album pretty much is short, sweet, and to the point. This album didn't need to be any longer than it does. It didn't need to be any shorter. I feel this is at a just right sort of pace. But... This is an Arch Goat album, straight to the point. From the riffs, to the vocals, to the drums, to the production. This is a fantastic Arch Goat album, and I don't know if I like this more than I do the Apocalyptic Triumphator. It's right near that sort of edge when it comes to uh, quality, uh, replayability, there's just so much to enjoy about uh, the Luciferian Crown. This is easily one of the best uh, albums to come out in 2018, and this will definitely see a spot on my year-end list. Um, yeah, from the tr opening track, Jesus Christ, Father of Lies, all the way down, you are going to get uh, your fair share of really, really sick music going on here. The guitar playing on here, as per expected for an Arch Goat release, is very top-notch. There is a lot of creativity and ener energy being flowed through these guitar riffs. Very, very solid and well played. I love the riffs. I love the 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 
the shift changes, the, the tempos, just everything sounds right. Everything feels appropriate. Um, songs like Jezebel's Black Mass Orgy, uh, Sorcery and Doom, uh, Star of Darkness and Abyss, just some seriously killer stuff going on here. Even the track Darkness Has Returned, I feel a little bit... I can't remember if it was that song or if it was one other song, but it definitely has that rock and roll, hard rock-esque sort of feeling going on when you listen to those riffs. And, and, it, and you're going to tell that it's one of the more differing tracks that appear on the Luciferian Crown with that, with that sort of style of guitar playing. But I think it's really, really sick. I love these guitar riffs, and they definitely weave some of the best stories to be told throughout this album. The bass work on here is very good, too. A lot of warm, solid qualities going on here. Very audible, very very much an important factor to this album's mix and productions. Uh, like I said, I think Archgoat have a little bit more of a glossier sort of edge when it comes to their current production sound. I don't, it doesn't feel distracting in the slightest bit. It absolutely helps out and maintains solid quality throughout when it comes to the overall musicianship, the sound quality, the, the drums, the, the bass, the guitar, the vocals. This production makes Archgoat sound phenomenal here. And it definitely helps out with this, this guitar and bass work on here. It's really solid. Um, Drum-wise, absolute typical sort of Archgoat drum performance. A lot of slope mid pace parts going on here but then when you get to the fills and the blast beats there is a lot to digest there with the drum performance it sounds phenomenal it feels natural it really is very well played throughout especially for some of the short tracks that are on here like um going back to messiah of pigs and uh, uh darkness has returned and then some lengthier tracks like the Obsidian Flame and I Am Lucifer's Temple. You get some really top quality drum work going on here with these songs. I love the fact that there is a lot of different sort of styles going on here. Whether it's fast, slow, mid-paced, this drummer can do anything and he makes it sound so badass. And when it comes to the vocals, it's the typical sort of Arch Goat sort of vocal style. Uh, Lord Angel Slayer once again delivering a very deep raw guttural sort of vocal style here of course you can understand what he's saying in 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 the best of his ways but it's still very awesome to hear him do the vocal style that he does throughout the majority of this record it's very commanding it's very scary sounding it's very intimidating but yet he brings out some very high quality uh, vocal work here throughout this entire album once again going to songs like um jesus christ father of lies messiah of pigs uh, Star of Darkness and Abyss. Just some seriously wonderful vocal work going on here. I love the detail in his voice. His vocal delivery just sounds right. It feels right. It feels genuine. And this is some seriously sick vocal work done here. So overall, this is another album to add to the ever-growing list of consistency that Archgoat has done throughout the years. This is a phenomenal album to listen to. There is an endless amount of replay value to be heard with this release. If you enjoyed the Apocalyptic Triumphator, you're going to enjoy the Luciferian Crown just as much, if not more. Like I said, I'm not sure if I like this one more than I do the Apocalyptic Triumphator, but this is easily going to be one of the best Archgoat releases as far as their current modern era is concerned so um yeah if i had to think of any personal favorite tracks i would definitely have to say uh jesus christ father of lies uh jezebel's black mass orgy uh darkness has returned star of darkness and abyss um the obsidian flame absolutely killer album every single track on here even the intro leading up to all these songs makes that much of a difference so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave you a link in the description box to how you get a hold of this album and listen to it i will leave you a link to the debra morty bandcamp page where you can currently pre-order this album right now this album is scheduled to be released this coming friday but you can order it through a wide multitude of variants you can pick up the cd uh 12 inch vinyl picture disc uh, you can buy it directly from the label you can also get it in the united United States, I believe Season of Mist and Hell's Headbangers both carry it, will be both carrying most of the versions of this album to buy. 
uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of ways to get a hold of this album, and uh, if they happen to be touring again, whether it be here or internationally, pay attention and keep your eye out because you're going to be in for one amazing show. So, again, the album is The Luciferian Crown by Archgoat. This is released on Deborah Bermorty Productions. Go buy this when it's, when it's out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a very solid 9.5 out of 10. Definitely one of the best albums of 2018, one of the best Archgoat releases in recent times, and uh, this is such a sick album. So if you happen to have heard this album, or if you've, if you've bought this album, what are your hopes on it? What are your anticipations on it? Do you think it'll be better than the previous Archgoat releases? Or if you've happened to have heard it, let me know what you think about it and how you think it compares to previous Archgoat releases. Or any of you guys into Archgoat, definitely let me know. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until next time, Army Hill out.